Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe. You can see this stainless steel strap-mounted bathyscaphe and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe. Now you can see this watch on my wrist in stainless steel bears a close resemblance to one I recently reviewed on a hybrid strap. This pure textile does change the look of the watch, but significantly this watch also has a different dial and a different case being composed of steel rather than the previous watch's titanium, and I have them both for comparison later in the video. Size-wise, the watch fits true to its 43mm measurement. 43 across the round of the case, not including the substantial crown. The watch has no crown guards, unlike the traditional 50-15-50 fathoms, this reference 5000 being cleaner and perhaps a little bit more vintage inspired in its design, or at least its sensibility. It is slim, as you can see, only 13.5mm thick. It will slide under most tight sleeves or dress cuffs. Perhaps the absolute tightest won't fit, but then again, you don't wear a watch on a command strap to don a suit. The watch has a lug-to-lug -lug measurement that's quite manageable. At 50 millimeters lug-to-lug, -lug, it's actually got the same measurement across the wrist as the traditional 50-15-50 fathoms, but this one wears far more compact, and I'm going to change the focal length right here so we can get a better view of the watch. It does wear more compact than its big brother, although mechanically they are identical. And the fit finish is the same. You'll note the case all of satin finish. In stainless steel it does wear heavier than the titanium, but it still feels very planted, flush to the wrist. Now the strap changes not only the look of the watch, but its fit. It's very comfortable. It does splay out over the wrist a little bit, but it doesn't flare out and fight you as some rigid rubber straps can. It just has more volume to it, as you can see. Now the strap is of extreme quality. No NATO commando ever enjoyed anything this fine. As you can see, even the minders on the strap are made of beautiful satin finished and fasted stainless steel. The pin buckle, easily adjustable on the fly, is far more convenient and I may mention conventional than a standard NATO series of loops. This is far more secure as well, but it's what you would expect from an upscale diver. Now again, for good measure, I have its companion nearby. I just want to make it clear that there are different variations of this dial within the 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe line, and the example here features a robust sunburst anthracite. Now, IWC would call this ardoise, some would call it charcoal. It's a beautiful dark gray silver with an exceptional grain to it. You can see just how dynamic it is in the light. Hands and applied indices in white gold, beautifully luminescent and easy watch to read in the dark. Again, unlike the 5015, which is more exhibitionist, this watch is more discreet with beautiful creases, a more angular more, one might say, folded and creased case design as opposed to the billowing compound curves of the 5015. The straight grain finish also mutes the glare and the gleam. Now, the bezel compared to its 5015 counterpart is pared back and flatter, using ceramic for scratch resistance rather than the other references large cambered sapphire. The dial itself is easy to read and the printing is mercifully brief and compact. This is a relief from contemporary practice. Since this watch is designed to be the pared down minimalist diver of the line, it also has no crown guards, but I will mention that it has one of the most satisfying and easily manipulated crowns in the business. Large and completely unencumbered by crown guard shoulders. It's easy to grasp it. It feels incredibly secure. You can see the size of that stem. The watch also features a large circumference about its crown such that it's easy to turn and easy to grasp. Now, of course, you pull the crown to extremity, you do activate the hacking function of the watch, and there is a quick set for the date so you can rapidly cycle it should the watch run down. Still 300 meter water resistant. The problem here with the strap is that I can't immediately show you the caliber 1315. Fortunately, I do have its mechanically identical counterpart here, so you know what lies within 
35 joules, a manufacturer caliber, and as much as Frédéric Piguet is now manufacturer Blancpain, exclusively featured in this reference and in no other product of the Swatch Group, it's a true high horology movement with beautiful anglage across the edge of every bridge, rounded and mirror finished, all screw heads polished with their slots chamfered. You can see it features technology as well, a silicon amagnetic hairspring, so it's anti-magnetic, or I should say amagnetic, in the sense that the hairspring is not affected at all by magnetic fields. Moreover, it beats at a modern 4 hertz beat rate or 28,800 vibrations per hour when fully wound. It is free sprung as you can see, so shocks, vibrations, and bumps on the wrist will not induce timing deviation as they may on a mobile index. Also, with three mainspring barrels and a 120 hour power reserve, it has sufficient autonomy to be part of a rotation of watches within your collection with no hazard of running down. Everything finished beautifully and distinctively. There's a gorgeous dressage or brushing across the bridges rather than a conventional Cote de Genève and beneath the balance a tight and even perlage pattern across the base plate. Beautifully executed, very tough, a modern handsome, technologically advanced high horology movement for a high horology diver. And again, the one being offered in this video, stainless steel with a spectacular anthracite sunburst style, ceramic bezel, muted case finish, and perhaps the most deluxe textile strap in the history of straps. You can see and you can don this one on our website.